Satan is greedy and nothing more, and it will surely be married on her sooner or later. I was shocked when she said she doesn't care that her man is a fraud star. I knew she was greedy, but I never knew she would go this far. I'm just happy Anita has finally decided to repent and turn a new leaf. Hope that your boss is no longer disturbing you. Not at all. I'm free, but I still want to leave that place. I'm no longer comfortable working for him. He's not very cold towards me. Don't worry. My God that gave you this one will give you a better job. I may know. I hope so. My dear, why don't you and Chidi start getting ready to get married? I don't see any reason for the delay. You get married, but that's after you've had your operation. You are our priority right now. We are trying our best to raise the money for your surgery. You both shouldn't worry about me. I'll be fine. Your getting married will make me happier than raising money for my surgery. No, you've tried for me, mom. I can't afford to lose you. I will be fine, dear. Don't worry about me. Chidi has tried for you. Don't make him wait any longer. You both can have a very small wedding. Ouch! Oh! Ouch! Oh! Oh my God! Ouch! Mom, are you okay? I'm fine, dear. It's just my usual headache. As I was saying, you and Trudy should go ahead and get married. Ouch! My head! My head! Oh my God, my head! Ouch! Mom, what's the matter with your head? This is more than your usual headache. I think we should go to the hospital. No, don't worry. I'll be fine. Let me go and get my drugs. My head, oh Jesus, my head. Oh my God, my health. My God, my head. Oh. Mom, please wake up. My God, somebody help me. Your mother tumor has grown too big. It should have been operated a long time ago. Are you saying it cannot be operated on anymore? It's a bit too late. Even if we operate on it now, it's a 50-50 chance of survival. But there's no harm in trying. It has to be within two weeks. Once it's more than that, we won't be able to do anything again. Doctor, are you saying we have less than two weeks to have the operation? Exactly. The tumor is growing really fast. So we have to be fast if we want to save her. It's still a 50-50 chance, but we can only try. Babe, where are we going to get this money from? We don't even have up to 1 million. The church and other people I've contacted for help have promised to do something before next week. Next week? We don't have that time. Did you know hear what the doctor said? We can't depend on those sources. They can disappoint us. I did. If you wait till next week and the money doesn't show up, then I'll look for another way to get the money. Where will you get the money? Chidi, we don't have any hope. I'm so scared. I don't want to lose my mom. Look at me, sweetheart. You will not lose your mom. I'll get the money before two weeks. She'll have the operation and she'll be fine. I'm giving you my word. But where will you get the money from? Don't worry about that. What matters is that your mom will be fine. Just trust me. Jasmine, what is the meaning of this nonsense report? When did you start writing like this? I'm so sorry, sir. I'll correct my errors immediately. Listen and listen good. I don't pay you at the end of every month to give me shabby work. If you know you're no longer capable, you can as well help yourself by resigning before I fire you myself. Please, don't fire me, sir. I cannot afford to be without a job right now. I wasn't in the right frame of my mind, but I'll correct them immediately. You better do. And the next time you give me such report again, I'll not hesitate to fire you. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Now get this nonsense out of my office and submit something meaningful to me. What is even wrong with me lately? 
I need to focus on my job before this man fires me. I cannot afford to lose my job. <laughs> my mother's condition seems to be getting the best of me. God, please, make a way for money. I don't want to lose my mom. Mr. Ennis is not even helping matters. He has been unnecessarily cold and even harsh towards me. Maybe I should go apologize in case I've done anything wrong. I can't afford to be in his bad books right now. Sorry for disturbing you. Can I have a word with you? Yes. What can I do for you? Sir, I have noticed you've been kind of cold towards me. I wanted to know if I've done anything wrong. Of course not. We are cool. You've not done anything wrong. I've discovered that I made a mistake by asking you out, which has made me receive a lot of disrespect and even insults from you and your fiancé. So I've decided to keep things on the business level between us. I'm so sorry, sir. I did not mean to insult you in any way. Like I said earlier, you did not offend me in any way. We are cool. Just focus on your work. I want to apologize for what happened earlier in the office today. I promise it won't repeat itself again. It's just that my mother is critically ill in the hospital and it kind of puts me off balance. Your mom? Hasn't she been operated on? No. I need about three million for the surgery and I've not been able to raise up to one million. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Don't worry, I'll make payment for the surgery right away. Which hospital is she? No, sir. I can't let you do that. You'll be fine. My man will raise the money before next week. Are you sure about that? I'm just trying to help, nothing more. Don't worry about that, sir. We'll be fine. Okay, if you say so. But in case you change your mind and you need my assistance, I'm always available. I'll be on my way now. <music> There is no way you are going to accept that man's help. But he's no longer interested in me. He's just trying to help, nothing more. I don't care if he's interested in you or not. All I know is that you are not collecting his money. Why are you trying to play blind eye to what this guy is trying to do? For goodness sake, Chidi, can you put your jealousy aside? We're talking about my mother's life here. Where the hell do you intend to get the money from? I don't know, but I'm promising you. That your mom will get her surgery done. Promises. That's the only thing I'm holding on to right now while my mom's life is in danger. Babe, have I ever made a promise and not fulfill it? All through your education, I made a lot of promises and I fulfilled everything. Even when I had nothing, I still found a way to see you through your schooling. So why don't you trust me now? I trust you, Chidi. But schooling is different. We are talking of a life here. I'm scared. I don't want to lose this woman. Just trust me, I won't disappoint you, I promise. How's work going? Fine, it's the usual hustle. Babe, I just called to tell you that I will be traveling to my village this evening. I need to attend to an important issue. To the village, just like that. Please, how serious is this issue? It's not something we can discuss over the phone. I'll tell you once I get back. I'll be back in three days, okay? But babe, can't you at least give me a hint? I'm beginning to get worried. Please don't. I can assure you that it's nothing bad. Only that I have to leave immediately. I'll tell you once I get back. Take care of yourself for me. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye. Uh-uh. What kind of emergency is this? I just hope everything is right.